Hello, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to show you two major new features with the Spotify desktop app and some of what I've been listening to recently this month. There are a couple of new features that Spotify added to its desktop or computer version on Mac and PC. Per usual with Spotify, they do their updates and rollouts. So if you don't see any of the new features right now, you probably will in the coming weeks. All right, so one of the new features on this new version of Spotify is that you can click on your playlist and something new that you can do is you can click the ellipses and you can click create similar playlist. And what happens is it makes basically a radio based on the playlist. So instead of it doing a radio station for a song or an artist or an album, it is doing it based on your playlist, the collective groups of songs and building off of that. So that is a huge development for music discovery, just in general, like songs I don't, I don't know most of these songs, so I don't even know if I like them, but it's still a great feature to try out. And this feature is not yet available on mobile devices. I suspect that it'll make its way to mobile devices. So the next thing that is pretty cool is if you click on your name, and go to your profile. You can now see your top artists and top tracks this month. So for me, my top artists are Role Model, Gracie Abrams, Taylor Swift, and Bleachers. Those are, it's very true. Role Model, I've been really into his music. He kind of has this alternative angst mixed with pop. I think his music is great. I really relate to almost all of his songs. They just are a quarantine mood. Next is Gracie Abrams. I have been listening to her for a while now. I really like her song 21. And then I started to listen to her more when she recently released a song with Benny Blanco called Unlearn. She sounds exactly like Jigglypuff to me, the Pokemon. I like her song 21. I like her song Friend. I really like her song Minor. I think it's pretty inventive in the songwriting. And it was actually the song that inspired Olivia Rodrigo to write Driver's License. So that's Gracie Abrams, check her out. Next is Taylor Swift, Folklore, Evermore, Need I Say More, and Bleachers. I love the song Chinatown. It is my top song of 2021 so far. I think it's the best song of the year so far. And I think all of his music is great. He produces for some of the biggest names in music and Jack Antonoff's music is just impeccable. And then you can actually click see all and you can go in and see your top 10 artists. Another low key up and comer that I've really been listening to recently is Genevieve Stokes. Her song Portland Nights is really good. She kind of reminds me of Katy Perry when Katy Perry first started out. Reminds me of that. So if you like that type of sound, check it out. Leo Bonji is also an up and comer. He's really interesting. He kind of sounds like James Blake or Kanye, like those two combined. He has a very different and eccentric type of sound, but it's really cool. Next, you can see your top tracks. And again, none of this is visible on mobile, unfortunately. So my top tracks this month, Gracie Abrams. Oh, well, we're only like three days into the month. Friend by Gracie Abrams, love it. Kind of sounds like a Post Malone song in the way that it's composed. I could totally picture Post Malone singing it. Next is Without You by The Kid Leroy and Miley Cyrus. I think this is the best collaboration so far this year. Their voices just blend together so smoothly and it, it, it's great. It's great. It's probably a song for the summer. Next is Billie Eilish's new song. And both of these I had on my New Music Friday Top 5 for this week. Four is Minor by Gracie Abrams. Also, when I work from home, Gracie Abrams' music is just really easy to turn on in the background. It's easy listening, and I could fall into listening to that for eight hours. So that's probably why that's there. Some Taylor Swift, Peach Pit, been into recently. Role Model, Leo Bonji, Genevieve Stokes, more Role Model. Yeah, so that's what I've been listening to recently and that's the second new feature. Oh, something different that I just realized is when you click on an album, it gives you the plays by the number. That did not happen before. 
It used to be when you click on an artist, it will tell you the amount of streams for the top 10 songs, but for everything else, I think you had to, I don't even remember, but I think there might've been a bar for popularity and then you had to hover over it and it might've shown you how many plays there were, but it didn't just flat out say how many plays it's got. So that is cool. Not that it's a big deal. I mean, there are some artists that have zero streams, 4,000 plays that are fantastic. And one of them is Nick Cianci. Like, I bet if I looked him up. Yeah, like, Surrounded by Poets, legendary song, 8,000 hits. So, I mean, it's an arbitrary statistic, but sometimes it's interesting to gauge someone's growing popularity over time if you were interested in that type of stuff. Yeah, so those are two new features and some of what I've been listening to recently on Spotify. Again, it is limited to the desktop app and if you don't have it on your computer yet, it is okay. It, Spotify rolls out these updates in groups of people, like I said. So to get the updates, if you did have any updates, I don't know how it works on a PC, I use Macs. You just click on your name, you'd click on your name and see that little blue circle? That means that you have a notification. So if I click that and then I can click update Spotify now, it'll close and reopen and it'll be updated. So now that's what it's doing, even though I just updated it, so I really don't understand, but worked well for our purposes. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what you've been listening to recently, any new Spotify updates you see, and if you want to see more from me, click the subscribe button. Alright, I'll see you guys soon. Peace.